Hello fellow alchemists, welcome back to our series on actually the Elixir language itself. I saw a very, very good question recently in the Elixir Slack. Um, it was all about basically how to spawn or how to start a process in the background. And um, the guy chose to use spawn and apparently his team mostly uses spawn. But actually spawn is uh, frowned upon in the Elixir community or more higher level developers, I would say. Um, I've been told and I've looked up and I haven't found exactly why that is uh, for a very good reason, but um, for the reasons I'm gonna show you today, I think these are kind of a really good reason enough. Uh, just if you look up the documentation about tasks, you'll see more information about this. And mostly they say it's for you know tracing, debugging, this kind of thing. And you're gonna see that in a second. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you reason why I think, and this is from what I found, you should be using task instead of spawn when you're using Elixir. And the two reasons are this, right? So if you take a look at spawn, and spawn and task, if you see them, they basically are very similar in what they can do. You can give it a whole function. But in this case, I'm gonna just gonna give it uh, basically the module name, the function name in terms of an atom, and then the arguments. So here's an instance of we're going to use IO module and puts the function and we're just going to put out hello. And you'll see what comes back, right? So it, it did spawn a task and it did print out hello and you'll see it return back a PID. Okay, that's interesting. Now let's try the same thing with task. So when you use task.start, I would say it's very synonymous with spawn. Uh, if you do start link or start, if you do start, it's basically a spawn. It's not linked to anything. Uh, there's no supervision. It's just basically a spawn underneath. And so if I do the same thing, puts hello, you'll see basically the same thing comes back. But now the difference is that we get a, a tuple, okay, with PID. Now the documentation lists this, and I think this is also a good point to make, is that the way task works is that it does return something that is actually, um, what would you call that? Uh, sorry, I lost the term in my head. Um, a way to to monitor that, to have it in your pro in your supervision tree, to supervise it. That's the right way. So basically, it's easy to supervise it because it returns the OK tuple with the PID. So this is a good reason all by itself. Now I want to show you another reason. Is that if we use the function syntax and this one we raise boom which you'll often see in examples here's what spawn gives us it's not super clear right it, but you know it makes sense that basically the pid that we sent out raised an exception um, which is fine now if I do the same thing in test start This to me is much more clear, right? You see the stack trace is definitely much longer. And you can see that it's actually started up as a supervised process using this task supervised. Um, but the nice part is that you do see this, which I think is very useful. So we can see that 113 is the name of our PID that got started. And you can also see what started that process, which is very, very useful to figure out, you know, okay, you know, what, what, where did this process come from? Why did it break? Well, you can start to get some information if you can look in your system for a PID with this process. And if you take a look at the current process, you'll see that we are that process. So this is really, for me, this is kind of reason enough, right? We get this out of the box. You know, if we're just spawning something, we're not just use test.start. You get some kind of tracing already from the beginning and you can already supervise it in case you want to. It's pretty simple just to add a supervisor around this OK tuple. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, bye. Hi, please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel. 
Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duk man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.